Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about brushed DC motors and how they work. It's helpful to have a working understanding of DC motors so that when we're replacing one or doing maintenance, you have some context on each of the components and how they work together. Knowing the jargon just gives you a leg up. You'll find a selection of fractional up to five horsepower DC motors at emotorsdirect.ca. We carry Baldor, Sentry, Leeson, Marathon, and Max Motion and ship across Canada. If you're interested in learning more about motors, please hit the subscribe button and check out our YouTube channel. I appreciate it. This really helps us grow our audience. DC motors are typically smaller, so you'll see them in small gear motor applications. Because there is no live DC power available, you'll always need a DC speed control to convert your AC power to DC power. You'll find DC motors in power tools, motorized toys, robotics, and some industrial applications. I have an industrial brush DC motor in front of me here. I did take a saw to this one, so I can show you what's inside. I'll turn it on later so you can see the parts in action. To fully grasp the electrical theory, it may be helpful to understand each component of the DC motor. We've added a diagram in the description that covers each part of the DC motor for your reference. Check out our other video, how to check brushes on a DC motor to learn more about them. All right, before we follow the motor circuits, let's cover some electrical theory. As you know, magnets have a north and south pole. If we try to push the same poles together, they push apart. This is the concept of a magnetic field. These are what we call permanent magnets and they're always on and can't be turned off. An electromagnet is created when we wrap a coil of wire around an iron core. The electric field in the wire creates a magnetic field in the iron core. In the case of electromagnets, they can be turned on and off and the polarity can be reversed by making changes in the circuit. When a moving magnetic field interacts with an electrical circuit, a current is induced. Or the reverse, when an electrical current is passed through a conductor, a magnetic field is induced. Now, we're ready to find out how a DC electric motor works. DC motors take direct current and turn it into mechanical power. Direct current, or DC power, differs from AC power in that it's constant with no reversals in direction. DC motors have the same basic operating principles as AC motors, but with a few key differences. If you put AC power to a coil, the poles would alternate north-south, north-south, versus putting DC power to a coil the poles would just point north or south and stay the same. This is the type of power that you'll get from a battery or a generator. When power is applied to the circuit, it's delivered to both the field and the armature windings. The windings in the fields are charged, creating an electromagnet with its own static magnetic field. In case of permanent magnet motors, where the permanent magnets make up the fields, there is always a magnetic field without the need for an electric current. While AC motors use the alternating current for the switching effect that creates a rotating magnetic field, DC motors use a process called commutation. Power is delivered to the commutator through carbon brushes, charging the windings in the armature. As the windings are charged, they create their own magnetic field that interacts with the magnetic field of the permanent magnet. The two magnetic fields attract and repel each other with such force that the rotor begins to turn. As the rotor begins to turn, the brushes slide across the commutator, first making contact with one section, then sliding to the next. As the brushes make contact with different sections of the commutator, the armature windings are energized in sequence. The coil that's attached to the commutator set is offset about 90 degrees. The armature is trying to catch a stationary pole, but as it's moving, the brush is always trying to catch up to the next commutator section. This creates the rotating magnetic field needed for the rotor to continue to spin. This process is very similar to AC motors, but the rotating field is created by the armature instead of by the stator. And that's how a brushed DC electric motor works. Leave me a comment below with your questions. Make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. I'm Keith with eMotors Direct, Canada's largest motor search engine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.